please subscribe to this channel and also tap the notification bell in order for you not to miss out on any of our videos. The Minister of State, Secretary General at the Presidency of the Republic, Ferdinand Gongo is known more for his ruthless character as the de facto head of the state of Cameroon. The ambitious next of kin is slowly but surely purging the head to the palace of his critics and has thrown into Kondengi prison many of his political opponents and is now teleguiding the bloody war on the English-speaking people of southern Cameroons, contributing to one of the worst humanitarian crises in recent African history. Minister Ferdinand Gongo is not only preoccupied with taking over the President Bia and the war or bloodshed in southern Cameroons. The so-called president in waiting and his family relations are living large. To be more accurate, Minister Ferdinand Gongo is leading an inconceivable life which Cameroon's taxpayers' money and revenue from oil and gas have provided him with. His in-laws and blood relations are reportedly splashing out hundreds of millions of francs CFA on cars and private parties. Many are stunned today in Yaoundé as several anonymous investors are purchasing government buildings and shares in state companies. Ferdinand Gongo has the inflinching support of the First Lady Chantal Bia and now controls the members of the ruling Betty Ewondo gang with a huge property empire in France. Cameroon intelligence report gathered that the members of the Chantal Bia family who pressed the 88 year old Bia to publicly announce Ferdinand Gongo as the next of kin are spending outrageous amounts of Cameroon taxpayers' money, typically on really quite outrageous things, including prostitution, alcohol, gambling, very ostentatious lifestyles that include buying huge houses in France, Belgium, and the USA, which they never visit. An official at the Cameroon Embassy in Brussels hinted this reporter that Francophone cabinet ministers are spending tens and tens of millions of euros to buy properties in France and Belgium and keep them up without actually ever going to stay even one night in those properties or even to use them to raise revenue. Like President Bia, Minister Ngongo's spending is not easily traceable and extensive investigations might just reveal the tip of the iceberg. A cream of top barons of the Bia regime have regularly been flying models from Ethiopia, South Africa and Madagascar and elsewhere to party in Yaoundé. They arrive and are allegedly tested for the HIV AIDS. Other senior government officials from the northern regions have also reportedly been travelling with their sea of mistresses to Saudi Arabia for the Hajj, throwing huge amounts of money on things which are even against Islamic teachings. All these are ongoing under the watchful eyes of Ferdinand Gongo. To be sure, the system of government in Yaoundé, as teleguided by ministers Ferdinand Gongo and Joseph Betty Asomo, is the feudal system that dates back to the Dark Ages, where the ruling families had the power of life and death over all the other subjects and having their right basically to help themselves to whatever wealth the nation has. That's La Republique du Cameroon that we know today. Cameroon's huge wealth comes from the country's vast agro-industrial plants, including oil, gas, gold, and diamond reserves, which supposedly belong to the whole nation, but in fact is Bia's family property, and which now has Ferdinand Gongo as its operations manager. 